Hey Jo, um, hope you've been well. Thanks again for coming in for our quick catch up today. Um, I'm very excited and very pleased to be presenting your final drawing package to you today for your kitchen renovation. Um, after our last chat and, I've, and the feedback you gave me from the schematical drawings I sent over, um, I've made a couple of change, uh, small changes which I'm sure you're going to love. Okay, so just recapping again on what your main outcome focus was that you wanted to achieve from this kitchen renovation. We wanted to um, achieve, uh, to, sorry, to create a minimalistic, stylish, yet a practical kitchen. Um, keeping in mind your needs of, you wanting to obviously keep your house as an open plan and you want to be able to have enough room to incorporate your young children into the cooking process as that is a very important part of your family makeup. So here we go, so we've got our kitchen. Um, so as you can see here, we've created this wonderful space. It's a very sleek design. Um, although after our first catch up, we both decided that ma and the marble bench top was a better option because you had the existing polished concrete floors. And so the marble really did, um, it tied in beautifully together. And so then we've gone with the dark cabinetry um, majority of it, sorry, been dark, and then we've just got that touch of that timber look th of cabinetry through your kitchen. Um, to ensure that we kept with those really nice clean lines, um, I've actually opted for a push to open touch system for your doors and drawers. So for your doors, it's your um, push to touch open, which glides on a beautiful, it's called a blue motion from Bloom and a really high quality. And then for the drawers, we've gone with a um, automatic self opening and closing system. So you tap on the outside of the drawer, it opens and then you tap it again and it retracts again. It's great. The engineering behind it is that you set it so you're not going to accidentally, if you lean against your cabinetry, it won't open. Um, definitely made sure of that. Um, yeah, so I think it's a really great choice to, to make sure we've got that really nice, clean, sleek lines in your kitchen. Um, now moving over to the pride of your kitchen, your wine cabinet. That was a really important feature that obviously we wanted to get into the kitchen. And then after our chat last time, we both decided that we could extend the size of that um, island bench. So in doing so, we've, I've extended it to that two meter mark, which has enabled me now to give you a double door wine fridge. Um, really great because now obviously you've got the reds and whites can be stored together. It's um, dual climate so you can adjust them as needed so I think that's a really I'm excited for that fit for you and when you have a look at the plans that I've given you you'll see right next to the wine fridge there's actually a small um, push uh, pull out cupboard which has been custom made for a variety of different size wine glasses um, again it's using that automatic open and closing so there's no risk of when you go to close that cupboard accidentally closing it too hard and the wine glasses falling over so um, really nice and being on the end of that island bench it sort of kept it out of the kitchen so I know that you're a bit worried about having that thoroughfare into the kitchen people coming and getting drinks so it's kept it out but still yet being part of your kitchen okay so um, moving on to oh, sorry there we go um, moving on to the cooking side of it um, I know that you were definitely wanting your pyroletic oven and so I've sourced this double sized um, pyroletic oven which is an inbuilt and over your cooktop is a 900 induction cooktop. It's got a really nice sleek design so it actually um, integrates in, as a workspace into your um, countertop when not in use. Again the safety elements of the induction obviously you, the pans removed the heat is instantly removed so that I know that was a really favorable choice for you for your young kids as a safety precaution. Um, with extraction above your cooktop um, I've opted to I found sorry I found the Schwagen um, silent range hood um, it's a really great um, design it's got a really strong airflow obviously needing that for the size area we've put your kitchen into um, but it's also a quiet so because the motor is externally mounted it keeps the um, the noise down but still not compromising on the um, the functional uh, functionality of the range hood so I'm really happy with that again keeping with our nice sleek lines it's um, fully integrated into your upper cabinetry so you can't see it at, at a glance um, 
Yeah, so um, looking at the request you had for water, uh, sorry, water filtration. So I know that you wanted to have the ability of having the filtered water, but you also didn't want that look of having the, the double taps on the bench top. So I've sourced this, um, what, this beautiful gooseneck three-way filter tap. So it's got both functions on it. So the filtration is system is under, um, under bench mounted. So obviously you on the one side of the tap, so the left-hand side, that will give you your filtered water, right hand side will just be your normal hot cold tap in your sink. So that I think is a really great option. Um, again, we decided to, from our last meeting that you would, you wanted the um, integrated water into the fridge, uh, sorry, the water dispenser in the fridge. So we decided not to go with that fully integrated fridge, but rather getting one that had the water on the outside again for practicality for having your young kids and having them be able to help themselves um, so although it's not an it's now not um, completely integrated it's still a really nice sleek design which I think still complements your kitchen nicely yeah so that's about what I wanted to have a chat with you today as you can see um, the pendant light it's a really nice sleek design again so I've actually gone for the bar pendant so it's about 1200 um, long it gives a really nice amount of light into the kitchen and with that combined with the um, the down lights that is going to be a really beautiful kitchen so overall Joe I really hope you love the design of your new kitchen I think it's absolutely beautiful it's um, it's practical but it's kept with our sleek and stylish design that you wanted um, I've given you, I'm um, sorry, you can have a closer look at the drawer and cupboard configuration. So having a look at those, the plans that I've sent over to you, have a look and make sure that you are happy with the amount of cupboards, drawers. If there's anything that you have any questions or concerns about, please feel free, give me a call, flick me an email. Um, I'm more than happy to help. Um, yeah, so I really look forward to hearing from you soon, Joe. And um, yeah, so we, and get this kitchen started so we can build you your dream kitchen. Um, I hope you have a great night. Thanks again. Bye.